Junior started out trying to answer a simple question about why he was purged from the voter rolls. But he ended up facing some unpleasant truths about how America wasn't living up to the ideas he'd been taught. Doing a deep dive into the founding of America, Junior went down a rabbit hole, looking up presidential writings, searching unfair voting practices, with an occasional break to snack on scalding hot pizza rolls. He was investigating whether voter fraud is real or not, all in the pursuit of understanding our system. If only there was some way I could help him understand. Welcome back to Democracy in Jeopardy, the only game show that combines all the fun of trivia and all of the unfairness of the American political system. Our next question. Who votes to determine the winner of a presidential election? The American people. The Illuminati. The Electoral College. Good for you for $100. The president, in fact, is chosen by an unelected group of 538 people who you've never heard of. Who are they? How did they get there? You'll never know. Uh, that's the definition of the Illuminati. Judges? Uh, well, the judges say they can't prove that you're not right. So, Charlie, you get $100. Yes! Can I get that up out you right now? Our next question. True or false? Even with the Electoral College, everyone's vote for the president counts the same. True. One person, one vote. Ooh, sorry. The answer is false. States with smaller populations get more power. So if you're from Wyoming, congratulations. And if you're from California, prepare for the big one. But you are better off than all the people in Puerto Rico and the U.S. Virgin Islands and all of the other less vacationing U.S. territories. They have no say-so in who the president is, but lucky for them, they still get to pay taxes. <laughs> mm, all part. right, here's our final question. Why was the Electoral College implemented? Illuminati. It's got to it's be the Illuminati. Ooh, sorry, Charlie. The answer is slavery. The answer is almost always slavery. Did you know that four of the first five presidents were from the South? The other, John Adams, was from Boston, the South of the North. <laughs> Uh-oh, looks like we're out of time. Let's tally up the scores and see who our winner is for today. Okay, it looks like our winner is contestant one. Yeah! <laughs> what? But I'm winning. Ooh, you were winning. But your points only count for three-fifths of a white man. Thanks, Founding Fathers. I never knew our elections were so unfair. Oh, yeah, I learned that the hard way. In the Sprite Remix Meet LeBron contest, I voted 8,000 times for my favorite flavor. And what did I win? Nothing. Plus, I drank so much soda that now my teeth are soft.